There's been a, frankly, quite rude Twitter trend going on about me for a while now, and I'm finally deciding that I'm going to speak about it. I originally wasn't going to make a video about this at all, but I've been seeing this for a couple months now, and I've decided finally that it needs to stop. What I'm talking about is tweets like these. My dog ate a whole bag of Skittles today. Jack Manifold. Why did you say f me for? This has been going on for literally months now, and I have no idea why. Every single day, I wake up and there are more tweets blaming me for arbitrary things that I had nothing to do with. I mean, look at this. I've literally been scrolling for five minutes, and I've already found, like, man, Higuruma died. F Jack Manifold. I don't know who Higuruma is, and rest in peace to them, but I didn't kill them. There are just tweets upon tweets of people blaming me for any inconvenience in their life. It's as if people have decided that I'm just some omnipotent god that can control karma or the universe or something and make bad things happen to people that dislike me a bit on the internet. Like, look at this. My finger hurts. F you, Jack Manifold. This is your fault. Who do you people think I am? Do you think I have the time in my day to just sit there praying and manifesting bad vibes to everyone who doesn't like me? Do you think I have that time? I absolutely do, by the way, but I usually spend it doing, you know, more productive things that benefit me and not mildly inconvenience others. And why would I make your finger hurt? Like, if I really didn't like you, I'd manifest, like, you falling in a vat of acid, you know? Or, like, you trip and die tragic. Like, if I really hated you, do you think I'd wish something as inconvenient as, as a boo-boo on the finger? You guys seem to think I'm some villain, but, like, also, like, the lamest villain ever, which is more insulting. At least, that's what I think. I can't tell if this is genuine hate or just people trolling. I've seen some people say it's just jokes, and I've seen other people who just genuinely seem to hate me. Like, some people don't even joke. This tweet just says, and fuck Jack Manifold. There's not even a first point. You just put and, and then put fuck Jack Manifold. That isn't a, I didn't even do anything this time. This person hates me so much, they put my last words. Fuck Jack Manifold. And honestly, you know what? If you hate me that badly that you'd use your dying breath, you know, fair enough. I almost hold respect for hating someone that much. That's a different tier of hating, bro. You woke up extra early to hate and then die immediately. But still, respect to you. Look at this. This is just me scrolling back to November. This goes on forever. Now, thankfully, if you're a subscriber of this channel, which if you aren't, you should be. So please go ahead and subscribe. You'll be glad to know that, frankly, I find this hilarious. I don't think there's anything more quintessentially Jack Manifold than the idea that I have control over the fates themselves and could just make bad things happen to people as I please. I enjoy the power trip. So because of that, I really wanted to try and engage with this trend in some way to show that I was finding it funny. And there's been a couple of great tweets that I considered replying to, but I'm just genuinely always worried that these people are going to get harassed by my followers who think it's serious. So I want to take the time now to say, please don't harass these people. Even if it is genuine hate, it's, I don't care. You don't have to like me. There's no requirement to do that. And you're more than welcome to express how much you don't like me on the internet. Even if someone said the worst thing possible about me, I don't want to be known as the guy that has the audience that harasses anyone with a negative opinion. So because of that, I didn't know how to acknowledge this trend at all. So I looked to the only other person I know who's been through a similar thing. 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. That's right, in 2015, there was a trend on Twitter where people would blame things on Obama by tweeting things along the lines of, My dog recently died in a traumatic fire incident that I will never recover from. Thanks, Obama. Yep, just like me, people were blaming Obama for arbitrary things he had absolutely not nothing to do with. So, what did he do? He went on Jimmy Kimmel in front of thousands, if not millions of people, and just read out these mean tweets and joked about them. So, I figure if the most important man in the world at the time can do that, I'm probably allowed to make a silly YouTube video. So, again, please don't harass anyone, but here's my thoughts on these tweets. Like, as I said, generally, fine, funny trend. Like, I got a crime for Christmas. Fuck Jack Manifold. Funny, get your frustrations out. But then, I scroll a little bit and run into things like this. Fuck Jack Manifold. I can't believe he would take away junk cook from me. Do you have any idea what tweeting things like this can do? I don't know if you've ever seen how rabid K-pop Twitter gets about anyone that does anything to their precious boys, but tweeting things like this puts my life on the line. So I'm setting the record straight here. I would never do anything to harm J Jungkook. Look, look at this. This, this is my peace offering. I would never do anything to harm Jungkook, and I just want to clear that up here. And this one's even fucking worse. I know Jack Manifold was the reason fucking started. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm not the reason that fucking started. Though some argue I was. Apparently I'm the reason fucking COVID started. You know how many fucking Trump cells from Twitter are gonna go crazy over this? All those anti-vaxxers thinking that I'm the reason their kids had to get shots? You're the reason I'm going to get regular shot. And beyond that, some of these things just aren't fair to blame me for. Like, bro, my card got declined trying to order pizza. Fuck Jack Manifold. It is not my fault that you're broke. Don't hate me because I got bans. You know, like, I'm doing all right for myself. If you'd asked, I'd probably have bought you a pizza. But no, you went on Twitter.com and you've tweeted fuck 
me, so no pizza for you. You're never having any pizza on my dime. In fact, if I ever see that you've ordered a pizza again, I'm calling the place personally and paying them double to cancel that shit or spit in it. I just threw my brother out the window. Fuck Jack Manifold. What do you what do, what do you think happened? What did you hear a little voice in your head that sounded like me that told you to do it? If that is the case, that was not me. You need help. That is a medical issue. If you are hearing my voice in your head, I can't believe I'm saying this. You need to stop watching the streams. It's gone too far. You need to detox, my friend. This one isn't even fair. It just says fuck Jack Manifold in bracket. He's bald. You know, I genuinely almost went to say I can't help that. And I remembered I, I totally could just grow hair, but I choose it this way. But at the same time, I'm allowed to make my own haircut choices. All right. If I want to be bald, I'll be bald. You know what? Next time I might go completely slap head bald just to piss you off. I don't even know who these guys are. They have bald heads. This is the only reason I can think that I'm getting dragged into this, but I don't know. Are you suggesting I encourage these men to shave their heads? Do you think I invented the shaved head? Actually, no, no actually, I would prefer I did invent the shaved head. From now on, that's what the history books are going to say. That Jack Manifold invented the shaved head. This haircut will be forever known as the Jack Manifold. In fact, when Dan TDM shaved his head, I congratulated him and he said he called it the Manifold. Trademark. But thinning. This is my style. So you know what? Fair enough. If you don't like it, you can say fuck me. I mean, some of these people don't even say fuck Jack Manifold. They're just rude. Like this guy said Jack Manifold ruined bald people for me. Bald people didn't even have a great rap anyway. Like 90% of bald people in media are villains as is. Which actually, now I think about it, maybe explains why everyone's doing this to me. I'm not evil. I just like, I think this looks cool. I don't even have words for this, man. This is just, I feel genuine sadness looking at this. I've been face maxing, man. I'm not mid. Got a positive cancel tilt. This one just makes me sad. I love Sonic. So well, I know this isn't Sonic. This is Tails, but he's from Sonic. And Sonic is one of my favorite franchises ever. My favorite one, Shadow. I have a big arena of him here. So don't get the Sonic franchise involved in this. If you're going to be mean to me, you can't do it with Sonic because it means a lot to me. All right. And it's serious. Don't have Tails looking all mm, cute. Tails would think I was cool. Tails would love me. In fact, I can't even hang out with friends. One time I hung out with Michael from five seconds of summer and like the whole of Twitter got enraged by the fact that we could possibly be friends. This person said, why the fuck is my boy with ugly Jack Manifold? Ugly? You can call me anything, but don't call me ugly. I'm fucking gorgeous. And I mean, this hasn't even been fun. There have been several occasions on which I've seen my name trending and I've panicked in case I've said something on stream that got me canceled. And there's just been like a bad event happened to someone in the community and everyone has blamed me for it. Like I remember the dreaded day that Sapnap joined Kick. I know, the dark time. And I saw so many tweets blaming me for it. And my favorite of them all was someone <laughs> who just tweeted at Jack Manifold, don't let me catch you. And it was them holding a steel chair. Someone threatened me like I was John Cena in the WWE because someone that I don't even talk to joined a bad website. I can't win with you people. You know what? First, maybe I said something that people didn't like, or maybe I just have a weird face. But on days like this, when I have nothing to do with the situation and I trend, not even people tweet, I go trending because of this. I'm beginning to think that there's nothing I can do at this point. I mean, this trend, got so big, you guys even got my own dad involved in it. Four days after Christmas this year, only weeks ago, my dad tweeted, my son has left the family home to spend time with his girlfriend for the holidays. Fuck Jack Manifold. My dad is getting involved with this. You know how bad that is? I'm not even safe with my family because something might happen to them and they might decide to tweet about me as well. So, as I said, this needs to stop. How are we going to do that? The only way to beat this trend is to create one bigger than it. So, if you're subscribed, if you love me if you really are a manifolder. I want you to go to twitter.com or x.com and go and tweet right now some arbitrary good thing and say thanks Jack Manifold at the end. I'm tired of people accusing me of having the time to go out my way to cause these arbitrary inconveniences to people like feeding their dog skittles so it vomits or moving their furniture so they stub their toe or any other strange explanation you could come up with as to how I possibly cause these things to happen to these people. Now people will believe that I'm a man who spares his time doing nothing but helping out people. For the great good of the world. Like I'm some omnipotent God who can simply will good things happening into people's lives. I will be hailed a king and it'll be thanks to you guys. But I get it. I'm asking you to tweet things for free and that isn't fair. So to give you the recognition you deserve for helping me out, I'm going to be doing a stream on my Twitch tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST going through the very best of the thank you Jet Manifold tweets. And we'll maybe go through a couple of the fuck you Jet Manifold ones as well to keep everyone happy. I expect to see you there. But in the meantime, subscribe in case any other strange Twitter trends start about me overnight and I have to speak about them again.